understand application installations. In this lesson, you will learn to identify various application installation options, install applications locally, explore group policy to install applications, and remove installed applications. As you're watching this video, I'd like you to consider these guiding questions. What methods can be used to install software? What is required to perform a local installation? And what do you need to do to install software on a local system? When it comes to installing applications, there are three different methods available to us. A local installation, where the software is installed using a downloadable, executable, or media such as a CD, USB, or DVD. Software can be installed through a provided software setup program. A network installation, where the software is installed from a network distribution point, or it can use scripting technologies. Another method is the group policy. This method software is installed to the system using a group policy object or GPO. Installation of software applications requires elevated privileges. The standard user will be prompted by user account control known as UAC. UAC is a feature in Windows that can help the user stay in control of the computer by issuing notices when a program makes a change that requires administrator level permission. Insert the software media and follow the instructions on the screen. Here's an example of the UAC in the figure. With administrator rights, the user can, could install a malicious program, unintentionally or unintentionally. A malicious program installed by an administrator can fully compromise the computer and affect all users. With the introduction of UAC, the access control model changed to help mitigate the impact of a malicious program. Most software contains either a setup.exe file or an install.exe file. If you cannot locate the installation files, review the software documentation that may be located on the media in a readme.txt file or possibly online at the software developer's website. Here we see a screenshot of the autoplay or auto run feature that's starting a setup program for Office. Companies use various methods to deploy software applications rapidly across the network, including group policy software installation. Group policy software installation enables software management throughout its life cycle. Group policy software installation works in conjunction with group policy and Active Directory domain services. When using GPO, installable software must contain a Microsoft installer file or a .msi file. In this screenshot, we can see a GPO software installation for Microsoft Office Enterprise 2007. Group policy enables centralized management of software deployment, including uninstalling, upgrading, or modifying software packages. The deployment tab allows you to manage how this package is installed or uninstalled based on who is using the PC. The policy can be configured so that the software is removed when a user does not have access rights authenticated to the computer. It is also important to note that this is available only on an Active Directory domain. Software installation extensions are not available on local group policies. On the local computer, software can be removed through the Programs category and Control Panel. From the Programs category, you select Programs and Features, and you highlight the software that you want to uninstall and click Uninstall. The uninstall process may differ from one software package to another. It should be noted that some software applications leave resi residual files behind, as well as registry entries. Caution should be used when removing these files and registry entries. As you are discussing this presentation with your group, please discuss these questions. What technology allows a standard user to install software without having to authenticate as an administrative user? What is required to use group policy to install software? And what files are typically used to perform an installation if the software does not contain an autoplay feature?